Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. This is our first day on the job site. Basically what we had here was just some one foot by one foot stepping stones scattered throughout the backyard here. That was the pathway. But now we're gonna do concrete all the way out from property line wall to house and then all the way to the rear property line as well. So this, is, this area is getting a lot bigger and a lot easier uh, maintenance wise. We couldn't get the tractor back here, so it's all a hand dig. Fortunately, the dirt was very soft. Westminster, California. Once we get the dirt, probably we'll take off about two inches of the dirt, and then we'll take the we'll break out a laser level, and then we'll start establishing some elevations, just to see how far we really got to go down. Because what you hate to do is take too much dirt out, especially when you're doing it by hand. So you really want to do it the first time uh, right. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to establish some elevations. We have the DeWalt laser level just setting on the concrete back there. So our fixed elevation is that existing slab. And it has drains in it. So right now we're just going to mark this point and this is going to be a high point. It's going to break two directions from here. It's going to break towards that existing patio and hit those drains that are existing. And then also it's going to break to the rear of yard and into the lawn area. So this is high point. So we established a level mark and we just went up two inches. And we have about 12, 13 feet. We have a, a two inch slope. So that's good slope. You don't have to worry about uh, puddling when you have that because you almost have a quarter inch per foot there. Now we'll bring the line up to that point. And at this point, it's good to just go ahead and dig in the form or set the form and or dig it in and then set the form that way you can um start digging out the center and pull lines across whenever needed the only difficult part is wheeling the wheelbarrows over the form so you could go by the string line as well So again right here we're still at level which is very low. You could have measure you could measure up on the level at that point or down whatever you need and then uh, get your marks without having to uh, dig. So from the looks of the dirt elevation this entire backyard slopes towards the house. And the reason behind that is to get the water to the street rather than flooding a neighbor's yard or anything like that you can drain through the side yards and out to the street or you can hit drains like in this case we're going to be hitting some drains which go out to the street here's the chalk line on the wall Now, if you want to get your grade right on, you can cut some uh, screed boards and rod to your um, lines. Put your top of your 2x4 to your outside form, and then top of a uh, rod board to the top of your chalk line, and you get your grade right on the money. Even though it's 3.5 inches, once you put a lot of water on it and compact, you're going to drop a good half inch, and you'll be 4 or better on your depth. With this particular soil, it takes a good flooding. Maybe you know the more the better. We'll flood it for a few days, let it soak for a day, and then compact. You got a really good base. Yeah. 
And because we're on in Southern California, we don't have to worry about freezing and thawing and all those little details. So we just pour right on native. Here we're going with some steel reinforcement, it's 3 8 3 bar. We're going two foot centers, both directions. Bring it to the top, baby. Bring it to the top. All the way to the top. Yeah. The water's gonna flow downwards. Get in that corner, baby. Yeah, get it all the way in that corner. Can I get the shovel? Hold on. Thanks, if I can get this a little bit closer. What? Yeah. Now we finally made it to pour day and that's the prime coming out of the uh, pump to lubricate the hose so it doesn't uh, clog up in the hose. Had a little yep. extra rebar so we just threw them in there. It's beautiful huh? Four foot wood bowl float going on it. This concrete mix design is a half inch minus 3000 PSI. So against the wall what we did first is hand floated right at the chalk line level. Then we pulled the rod board perpendicular along that wall all the way out. On this one, we're going to go ahead and wet cut it. All the joints are going to go in today. No saw cutting here. We're going to run one all the way up the long ways and then four across. So after we both floated it a couple times, we waited for the bleed water to evaporate. And now we're running the Fresno on there. Beautiful. Now what we have going is a walking edger, half inch radius. This particular walking edger has a fixed wood pole on it. It's not removable. So it's always ready to go. Now it's time to start joining. First we're going to go with a, a deep cutter which cut, cuts down about two and a half inches. So you get a good break in the aggregate. And then we're gonna follow up on that with a um, three quarter deep half inch radius joiner. That'll be your finished product. We just tied the string line to that pole to snap uh, the line all the way down the middle. Now as we push out on this line with that five foot long cutter, we're just gonna add poles as needed. 
you're not going to make it all the way because you don't have a rocker on there so you have to um, join it from both ends in this case you just climb on the wall drop it down and push it on out now if your wall is wobbly or if it's a four inch wide I don't recommend climbing on them now we just hit it with some funny trowels to get it close inevitably you gotta go out on it by hand and hit it with hand joiners and hand trowels you gotta time that just right because if you get out there too early you um, make a mess by sinking in with your knee boards or if you get out there too late it's difficult um, to work the concrete properly now we're getting out there on the sliders touching up the details inevitably we just want to put a non-slip broom texture on here but you don't want to see a lot of trowel lines bowl float lines fresno lines joint lines edger lines you just want a nice even consistent broom finish in order to get that you got to go through all the motions good man thank you sir Here's the broom. We got a new finisher in here today and he's really partial to his nylon broom. So we're not getting that 50% nylon, 50% horse hair on this one. It's 100% nylon in this case. I wait a little bit on that wall because of this shading it is brooming out really nicely though so here's your finished product all that's left to do now is uh, backfill along the edge throw a little uh, keep it wet for the next three or four days water cure it out the longer it takes to cure out, the stronger it's inevitably going to be. So that's why uh, water curing works really well. If you're there and able to do it, water curing is probably the best way to uh, cure out concrete. The joints came out really nice and straight in both directions. That joint's a little off center because we matched the existing, of course. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want to get notified on our next upload. Have a good day. Bye.